ang pagtanggi ni Vice President Sara Duterte na sagutin ang mga tanong tungkol sa kanyang panukalang budget at ang questionable, questionable niyang paggastos sa mga nagdaang OBP budget na sinita ng Commission ng Audit ang mga dahilan kung bakit tayo narito ngayon. She expressly rejected any questions about the OBP budget even before those questions were put forward. Her claim of leaving it to the House to do what it thinks is right is just a palusot, a smokescreen, a cover because she does not want to provide proof for the numbers she stated in her PowerPoint presentation. She expected us to take at face value the figures in her presentation when there is much reason for us here in Congress to doubt the veracity of the figures in the presentation. We have not seen any paper trail or electronic trail that would serve as evidence of beneficiaries and partnership agreements. Kung totoong may mga beneficiaries, imposibleng hindi mabalitayan na masino mang district congressman sa Metro Manila, lalo pa tinatayang dalawang milyong beneficiaries ang nakinabang sa loob ng dalawat kalahating taon at ang halaga ng pondo ay halos 4 billion pesos para sa 2022, 2023 at 2024. If they have evidence of how the OB, OBP spent the budgets on socio-economic programs from July 22 to the present, I hope they will be entered into evidence after the resource person are sworn to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. 